All right, guys, it's finally here. Inside this box is my brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is, uh, I think, 256 gig version. Um, I've the, the machine that I'm using to record this video is my two years old Galaxy Note 9. Uh, it has been working fairly good, but until recently, it started to have touchscreen issues. So I know it's about time to get a replacement. And what could be better than getting a newest and the best iPhone 12 Pro Max? Now, why I went with iPhone is because I've been using iPhone prior to using the Galaxy Note 9. Uh, for about two years. So my my cycle for phone usage is about two years Apple and two years Android And now it's just about time to get into the Apple base camp again So I'm just gonna open up the phone take a quick look power it up Maybe charge it and then give you guys my first impression compared to my current Galaxy Note 9 say what Improvements there can be in about two years of phone age okay now i have been pretty happy with my note 9 um but it's you know the verizon give me a 440 dollar credit for me to trade in the note 9 which is a great value in my opinion so i get a 440 dollar credit for 24 months and uh that applies to the purchase cost of the iphone 12 pro max here which retails for 1200 bucks. Again, not cheap, but comparing to some other flagship phones, it's, a, it's in the same price range. You know, the, the Galaxy, uh, the newest, what, S21, something like that. And the, um, the OnePlus 9 Pro, things like that. Again, as I age, I'm not as dependent on having the best and fastest phone anymore. But since I got a pretty good credit and this phone is not terribly expensive, I just went ahead and bought this one. What's the advantage of this phone is probably the best camera and the camera capturing algorithm on the market, uh, bar none, okay? And excellent battery life. That's what I heard um, opening up the box. Very slim box compared to the last generation, couple generations of iPhones, very, very slim. And the design is drastically different. It's almost like the first and second generation or like up until the three generations before, like the early generations of iPhones, very square, very square. And oh my God, this, this screen is so massive and it barely fits into one hand, okay? Um, and also look at that massively huge camera array. It's just so big and I I have no doubt this camera is going to be excellent during use um, but we just got to test it later on and find out so I think uh, that's an LED light and that's probably the laser array that they put in there um, for autofocus whatever and three different kinds of lens I don't even know which lens is, is which but we'll find out soon so this this back is beautiful okay this is the gunmetal gray i think um they give you a display that says that's a silence button volume up and down and power pretty classic apple and nothing else on the phone okay um so take the screen protector off i'm gonna leave it on the side wow beautiful and just feels well made in your hand it feels like a piece of art Again, compared to the Note, the Note feels plasticky. This feels like a piece of art, okay? Huge, huge difference. Uh, very premium feeling. So on the right side, looks like the power button is huge. The power button is right here. It's very long. And uh, I don't know what this is for. It's probably the SIM card slot, maybe. And on the bottom, you only got a USB-C port. There's no microphone jack, of course. And again, the, the edge are polished gunmetal color. Again, beautiful, but also very fingerprint, uh, you know, magnet. Okay, so this is a SIM card slot. So I don't really know what this side is. 
but this is a SIM card slot. And uh, again, the button I've mentioned before, the volume and the silence button. Uh, there's a little edge over here. So the top part is the antenna and the GPS array. Um, in the front, you have some sensors right here. And again, that's a little ear that's very popular with nowadays cell phone designs. But again, I'm not even turning it on. I just think this phone is a piece of art. It's beautiful. Put it aside, see what else we got. So interestingly, we have, oh wait, that's not USB-C. That's a lightning cable. I, I got it wrong. So yeah, Apple is still sticking to lightning after all those years. But again, since I haven't touched any Apple products in two years, please forgive me <laughs> without realizing this is still lightning, okay? So that's very good. But on the other end of this lightning cable is a USB-C connector. So finally, they have give, given up on some parts of their lightning cable design and included USB-C on the other end. I'm wondering where the charger is because I haven't seen a charger included, which is weird. Um, what's, what's in here? Your classic Apple sticker and a quick start button and a SIM ejector tool, classic of every iPhones. I'm gonna put those in here because I haven't active, activated this phone yet. Um, I don't think it needs a SIM card to be activated. Hey, oh, mm. Th there is no power cable, which, which, I mean, no power adapter, which actually is quite surprising to me and kind of a downside, but I've got a few Samsung, like, power adapters hopefully it works but i don't know if the this claim the fast charging capability is going to be applied but i am ple pleasantly surprised caught by surprise that there is no charger included only a very basic lining to usb-c cable um so it looks like i have to buy a whole bunch of accessories for the iphone so first i need a nice screen protector, preferably glass, to keep that beautiful dark screen going. And I also need a good case to protect it from dropping it because this phone is heavy. Like imagine you drop it on a corner, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna get shattered right away. Now the back, it feels like frosted glass. So there's no screen, uh, there's no plastic film on the back. It's just frosted glass. A very beautiful Apple etched logo on the back. And uh, so now I want to try to power it on and see what we get. And I am probably have to activate it first before I can continue on to the next section. So let's power on the device. Hopefully it's kind of charged to 60%. It will be easy for me to continue to explore it and activate it before I have to fully charge it to continue uh, with this uh, unboxing experience. The screen is beautiful. It's Apple always nails their screen. Their resolution is not the highest. However, their screen, like the way they optimize the text, the display, it's just unbeatable. It's beautiful. 4K screens, definitely nice, but again, if the execution is not good, you know, a high resolution screen is pretty much useless. In this case, very beautiful design. I, I'm still not used to the, the top ear over there because I, my phone doesn't have that, but now it's got that little weird thing on the top. So I gotta, I gotta go ahead and finish the um, setup process. All right, guys, so, uh, one afternoon later, uh, I activated my iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's pretty much a automatic uh, transition. I turn on the phone, it automatically activates with my phone number. Uh, I am with Verizon, by the way. So it automatically detects my phone number, do, does a few magic, and my Note 9 gets automatically disconnected and iPhone 12 Pro Max gets automatically activated. Really painless transition as well as all the apps that were on the Note 9, I have installed them all on the 12 Pro Max as well. So now the phone is actually pretty much ready to use. All it took for me to transfer all the data and back up all the images 
or just one afternoon. And as you can see, suddenly I went out and I bought all the accessories that I think are very much needed um, after I activated my phone. So I'm going to just quickly show you guys what I got and I would recommend you guys to go out and get those as well. First thing first is a additional pair of the lightning to USB-C cable. Now, as I mentioned in the earlier unboxing, there is no power adapter included, which is a big shame. Like they should always include a power adapter. I don't understand why Apple does that. And this 20 watt power adapter, USB-C power adapter from Apple, genuine Apple product costs $20. Okay, so you have to spend extra $20 just to get a adapter, uh, which is crazy. Um, I went to Best Buy and I got a fairly affordable tempered glass screen protector. Tempered glass nowadays are very popular among everything electronic. If you have, you know, a GPS device, you have a watch, you have everything, there's a tempered glass protector for it. And this one is, of course, the Best Buy own brand Insignia. Uh, it comes with uh, two pairs uh, for $20. So one screen protector is $10 each, okay? Um, they provide very good clarity compared to the plastic protectors that you get usually from uh, for very cheap. But, and they also last a very long time. If they get scratched, just put a new one on, but rarely those protectors get scratched that bad, okay? Third, but not least, a Apple AirPods. Now I have the AirPods Pro because my ear is kind of a weird design and I actually need the silicone to keep those AirPods in my ear. Now I tried to use my Galaxy Bud Plus that I just recently bought for my Note 9. However, don't even think about it. Like Samsung devices, just Samsung accessories just doesn't work with Apple, okay? This works great, fantastic with any Samsung Galaxy phones. However, I tried to install the uh, Galaxy wearable app on the app on the iPhone and I tried to pair the phone, uh, pair the headset on the iPhone, it just does not work. So your only option at this point or your best option is just to go get a AirPods. Those AirPods, I haven't unboxed it, but I'm going to assume that it's probably going to work fantastic with the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now the AirPods Pro compared to the regular AirPods features active noise cancellation. I don't really need that active noise cancellation, but for 50 more bucks, I get those custom silicone earpiece, which is really what I need. Okay. Uh, in terms of battery life, compare the Pro to the, um, the regular AirPods 2. I think it's uh, actually less battery life because of the extra technology they put in the, um, the AirPods Pro. Anyway, so very last thing is a, is a case. Okay. I think case are actually very necessary for the 12 Pro Max. Why? Because I was trying to hold this very rigid phone. Remember when I did unboxing, I said this edge is very rigid. It's extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Okay. It just digs, it digs through your, into your hands and you kind of get like those very, <laughs> it's just not comfortable. Let's just say it that way. So you, you probably want to want a case that's kind of rounded and more comfortable to, offset this very uncomfortable phone okay it's a weird design i don't know why they went with this like iphone first second third gen design because quite frankly i had the uh, iphone 7 pro and that phone is very rounded very comfortable to hold and is a great size now this phone just actually feels too big for me i only got it because of the camera um i'm a photographer so the camera is kind of important and that's the only reason I got it. Otherwise, I would totally go for the 12, um, 12 Pro and the 12 because those are actually a much, much more comfortable size to hold. Even though they are also square edged, they don't dig into your hands as, as much because you don't have to use so much force to hold such a big phone. Um, so that's a downside. And that's the reason I strongly advise you guys go with 
any kind of case that kind of had a rounded edge. Don't go with a case that's also like very hard edged. That's going to dig through your hand even more because it's going to, the, the volume is already large enough with a case is going to be even bigger. So even harder to hold, make sure you get a smooth edged case. Now, with that said, um, user experience, no problem, best of the best uh, in terms of, you know, device performance, battery life, very, very good. I was playing around for the whole afternoon um, and I started charging it. The charging actually takes a long time on a standard charger. So that's another reason I bought the 20 watt charger. It's going to charge much faster. Um, because I was charging it on my Galaxy uh, adapter, which is not really designed for the iPhone, obviously. So in terms of user experience, again, if you used Apple products before, it's pretty much the same and you haven't changed it dramatically. The only thing changed, I would say, is multitasking. So with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, um, I'm able to switch around between apps very quickly. So let me just show you guys. So I already set up my face unlock, so very easy to unlock everything. And I already organized my apps. I put them in the folder and some of the easy access apps on the back as well. And so one thing that I noticed that has been improved since I used the iPhone 7 Pro is this little feature that organizes and shows all my folders so I can quickly find my apps by categories. Um, so really this has improved my app search significantly and also if I just scroll down it shows all my apps in one place so very very fast to find apps nowadays on the Apple device and uh, so really no complaints there and on the other side you have your again this is like a very customizable page on the on the left swipe I turn everything off because I don't use those features as much you have your news your stock your shortcuts you're pretty much everything imaginable on this quick access panel on the other side besides all the app access panel. Um, and if you swipe up, up, it brings all the apps that you've used before. Um, it's just really quickly switching things around. And if you swipe down, uh, of course, there are different, different locations for you to swipe down. If you swipe down here, it's a quick access to all the features that you can disable and enable. And if you swipe down here, it's the notifications, okay? So, um, like really very quick, very easy to access all the features. It's, it's pretty much comparable with the Android nowadays because back in the day, people were complaining, you know, iPhone is like, it's so restricted, it's so limited, it's hard to access multitasking different apps. Nowadays, it's not an issue at all. The Apple is just as good as Android in multitasking. Um, the only thing it doesn't have compared to the Note 9 is like a kind of an on-screen, like an app on top of an app kind of feature. So uh, for example, if I'm using Facebook, I can open Facebook in a small window on the Android, but I cannot do that on the iPhone. So it's still very dedicated to one window only operating mode. Uh, maybe in the future they would do window in window, but again, it's really not a necessity since now it's really easy to switch around in the apps. So I am not going to put the case on the phone right now. That's going to be the last thing I'm going to do, but I'm just showing you this clear case. They advertised this never discolors. So I'm really excited about it because it's going to show off the iPhone really beautifully. Okay. And provide plenty of protection. Um, the first thing first, again, I am going to install the uh, glass protector. Nowadays, there are tons of video that will show you guys how to install the glass protector. And, uh, oh, how nice. They actually um, had a guide for the installation. So you will never screw it up. You put this guide on here and then you put the glass on there and then it should match perfectly. And then you have a case that would actually work with the glass protector at the same time, okay? I'm not going to show you guys this uh, on the video because it's really easy. There are tons of videos on how to install glass protectors. I'm going to come back after I get the screen protector installed. Okay, so see you guys in a little bit. And I just put the 
iPhone 12 Pro Max with the new glass screen protector into a clear case. So now it should showcase my iPhone, you know, pretty good and protect the camera lens as well. So it's got a slightly raised edge. So the lens is not scratching. The lens is not scratching anything. Okay, so raised edge is always nice. I would uh, probably get a, a little pop-up thing to protect the lens further. And uh, this sums up this review. If you guys have any questions on the tempered glass screen protector for Inks, from Insignia for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe, and I should have more similar uh, how-to videos coming out for you guys, okay? So thanks again, and uh, take care.